Welcome to Deck Check, the series where I check out a game and let you know how it plays on deck. Today, I'll be taking a look at Fall Guys, an online minigame battle royale created by Mediatonic. I'll be going over compatibility, controls, graphic settings, and overall feel, and giving the game a final rating based on how well it plays on deck. If you find this content helpful, go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel and every subscription helps a ton. Right out of the gate, Fall Guys has a serious issue for people trying to play it on Steam Deck. It uses Easy Anti-Cheat and is listed as being unsupported for play on Deck. While usually Anti-Cheat not allowing play on Deck would be both the beginning and end of compatibility, Fall Guys is actually in a rather unique position. See, the developers actually tried to add support for the Deck. They just made some mistakes in the implementation which causes it to not work out of the box. This can actually be resolved by using a specific version of Proton GE, which has a built-in workaround for this exact scenario. The version that I use without issue is Proton GE 20. Other newer versions, however, do not work for some reason. So only use exactly Proton GE 20. If you do not have Proton GE on your deck, Check out my Deck Tech video where I go over many Steam Deck configuration topics, including how to get Proton GE on your deck. This will be linked in the description and also in the information box in the top right corner. Of note is that I have only been able to get the Steam version of Fall Guys working on my deck. I have tried a few times with the Epic Game Store version to no avail. Fall Guys is no longer for sale on Steam, however, so this method only applies to people who previously purchased it when it still was available on Steam, or people who are activating Steam keys that they got from a third-party reseller after it was delisted. Furthermore, it's unclear to what extent support for Fall Guys is even intended, especially since Mediatonic is now owned by Epic Games, who have a history of not wanting their games on other people's platforms. While I've been able to play Fall Guys on deck for months and months now with no issue, there's always the specter that any patch or update could just outright remove support for the deck without notice. Compatibility for games can change over time, so I recommend checking the comments to see if anything has changed in the time since this video was posted and leaving a comment yourself if you have any issues. However, given the rather nebulous state of compatibility for Fall Guys on deck at the moment, I would not recommend purchasing a key from a third-party key seller under the expectation that it would work indefinitely on deck, unless that's a gamble that you're okay with losing. On a brighter note, once you actually get into the game, Fall Guys feels like a perfect fit for the deck. It has full controller support, and what minimal UI elements and text that are there are all perfectly readable on the deck's small screen. The only flaw that I can find is that the game does not actually have support for the 1280 by 800 resolution of the Steam Deck screen. Rather, you have to run the game in 720p, which means you'll get these very small black borders at the top and bottom of the screen. This is not unusual for games on the Steam Deck, and it's not a huge deal to just have these tiny little black bars at the top and bottom of your screen, in my opinion. Now, for graphic settings, I went ahead and set everything to pretty much the bare minimum I could. This is because Fall Guys has a very simple art style, and on the deck's small screen, you really can't notice the difference between max settings and minimum settings. However, setting things to minimum will get you higher frame rates and better battery life, which is something that I immensely value. As far as performance goes, Fall Guys is pretty exceptional. It has absolutely no trouble hitting a rock solid 60 FPS, pretty much regardless of what minigame you're playing. Having said that, in the past, playing on my own time, I have noticed frame dips occasionally on the first round, which is the race round where there is the full 60 players. Sometimes if too much stuff and too many players were on screen, I did notice frame rate drops. However, in all my time recording footage, to create this video, I could not recreate those frame rate drops, which should go to show that they're pretty few and far between. As far as battery life, it's sitting somewhere in the range of three to four hours, which is pretty good for an online only game on the Steam Deck, which can have up to 60 players on screen at a time. 
Overall, Fall Guys is a pretty great experience on the Steam Deck if you can get it working. And that's a big if. With the future of compatibility for Fall Guys being very unclear, it's kind of hard to recommend it on the Steam Deck. If you already own it, go ahead and set your Proton GE version to 20 and give it a go. But if you don't already own it, then perhaps it would be best for you to just stay away for now. Or perhaps petition Epic for official Steam Deck support, as unlikely as I think that is to actually happen. I plan to make many more Steam Deck videos, so if you don't want to miss out, go ahead and subscribe and leave a like while you're at it. And if you have any games you'd like to see me cover in the future, leave a comment letting me know. Your comments have been very helpful in letting me know what videos I should make next. Until then, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. What? <laughs>